live. I did not plan on making this this morning, but I feel like it is critical because I've had a couple different conversations with people that uh, A, have just got started with us, and then also with RNs who have seen that previous video that I did, I believe on Saturday, podcast 22, talking about how to overcome fear. And today, you can tell that I'm fired up to talk about this because I did not even take the time to shower after my workout and be able to get into the proper uniform and gear. The only thing I have is my cool little hat here. But I'm coming at you because uh, I didn't want this idea to slip away. And this is kind of part two to what I was talking about before, how to overcome fear. But it's mainly about why, if you do not solve this one thing, you will start things and never follow through. And what I'm really talking about is this idea of what our emotional home is. See, every one of us has an emotional home and the emotional home can sometimes change. And if we're not where we want to be yet around certain topics, we have an emotional home that is fear based. I'll give you an example. If let's say you don't feel uh, very certain that you're going to be able to accomplish something and you talk to a friend, right? Or you talk to a therapist or you talk to, I don't know, somebody who's proficient at being able to achieve uh, the thing that you want to achieve. And what happens is after that call and during the call or during you talking to them, you get excited and you not only get excited. The reason you get excited is because, number one, you have clarity for what you want. But number two, you're starting to develop the certainty that I can do this. Now, here's the kicker. The certainty does not come from within. You're essentially borrowing the certainty from that individual because they're so certain in that you can do it, that you start to feel better in the moment. Now, this is crucial to differentiate in the moment. Now, why is that so powerful? Because when you feel powerful in the moment, is that going to be the thing that's going to carry you through for the next, you know, many, many months and years or whatever, however long it takes for you to get your goal? The answer is, of course not. Just like how if you are dirty because you shower or because you work or you, you know, you just naturally live your life, you, you wouldn't say that, you know, I showered yesterday, so therefore I do not have to shower today. <laughs> so. It is, I want to say, number one, extremely natural for these emotions to change. And I'll give you that perfect example, right? It's very common, I would say, I don't know percentages because we don't track it, but it's very common for us to talk with an RN, do a one-on-one -on -one RN body transformation planning session, get them to a place where we change their state, where they feel certain, they feel clear with what they want to achieve. In the moment and we get started we're rocking and rolling we get them signed to a coach and they're ready but then what happens is the following day they get to a place that they've been in their emotional home which might be fear anxiety and those emotions will kill any chance of your breakthrough one thousand percent because if we operate from a place of fear doubt and uncertainty you wouldn't do anything. Think about it. When you have high stress and high anxiety, are you like, let's go? No, you're paralyzed. And this is exactly the emotion that or emotions that we have to learn to identify and create strategies to get out of. So uh, the best thing to do when you feel so excited one day because you talk to someone and you're ready to go and you create your action plan, but then you go back to your emotional home the next day is number one, you have to identify it because only when you identify it, can you realize that these emotions are a signal and signals are meant to be interpreted. Why do they have lighthouses? It's so that the, the boats don't crash into the shore or crash into the rocks, right? What happens if there's a lighthouse and it goes off? And, you, and the boat, the captain sees it, and he just goes, oh, that's cool, and keeps going. He's going to hit the rocks, and they're going to drown, and the, you know, the, the boat's going to uh, sink. We can't let that happen. You have to, every emotion you have is a signal. 
It's a signal that something needs to change. Emotions don't just happen. They happen because one of habit or two because of something environmental. It's important to recognize why they're happening. And then B, once you recognize it, or two, we have to use our resourcefulness to get out of it. One of the reasons that we do coaching and that we don't just give you, let's say, uh, you don't just meet with us once we get you all, you know, uh, motivated and certain that this plan is going to work. And then we say, cool, you're on your own now. Bye. The reason we don't do that is because guess what? It wouldn't work. Why? Because we are not able to help somebody out of their emotional home or out of the emotions of fear, anxiety, doubt, and so on. That's why it's extremely important uh, that when you are feeling, and it doesn't even have to be the day after, it could be a week after, two weeks after, a month after. If you were ever starting to feel anxiety, doubt, fear, you need to confront that. And if you're working with us, the way you confront it is by talking with your coach, by saying, hey, I'm feeling this way. And then we can help you out of it just like if, you know, just like we would help you on your first call. So the, the summary of all this is number one, it is extremely natural to be excited, ready to go talking with one of our enrollment coaches and to have certainty, to have clarity with what you want and to be able to execute and get started. And then the next day feel <gasps> the fear and feel like, oh my God, this is more money than I've ever spent on anything fitness related. Right. But it's also your last. And because of this, it's just like how you are investing. It's like buy right or buy twice. You probably heard that before. When you invest in yourself and you're able to break through, a breakthrough is when there is no going back. A breakthrough is when you shatter the glass ceiling on what you believe is possible and the results that you get, and you can keep going forever. We are in the business of breakthrough. And I realize that 95% of all the RNs in this group will never work with us. And that's okay. We still want to help you break through. That's why we develop all of the resources and all of these videos for you to listen to. Because it is our mission to help right now registered nurses, women, to have physical and emotional breakthroughs. You only have a breakthrough when you decide. And here's the thing. Decision means to cut off from. You're going to cut off from, you know, everything you've done in the past. You're going to cut off and say, enough's enough. I'm making this change. But here's the significant piece. Because of the approach we take that isn't deprivation, it doesn't feel super exciting all the way through. So it's very important that we learn how to manage our emotions so that they don't work against us, but can empower us. So if you are feeling any amount of self-doubt, you know, creep in, right? And whether it's with us or whether it's with someone else, right? You get real excited on a first call, your clarity, you got certainty. And then the next day you feel fear. Ask yourself, how often do you feel fear? How often do you feel uncertain? How often do you feel anxiety? If the answer is often, then that's just an emotional home for you. The good news is you can change your emotional homes. But it's really hard to do alone. It's really hard to be at the bottom of a six feet hole and to get yourself out. It's a lot easier when somebody on the surface throws down a ladder and says, hey, you're going to step on this one step at a time and I'm going to make sure you're okay and that you're not going to fall deeper. It's okay to ask for help, right? And that's what this group is for, right? We don't need to have all the answers. So hopefully this is uh, beneficial to you. Um, I'm also posting content on other platforms as well. If you guys aren't following me right now, my personal profile on Facebook or TikTok, I'll drop some of these links below because I have been getting uh, some of our RNs messaging me saying, oh my God, I just saw you on TikTok. Your video went viral. I didn't even know you were on TikTok. And I'm like, yeah. So I'll post those there in case you're interested in uh, getting more bite-sized pieces so that you can change your state during the day. But hopefully this is beneficial to you. Rant over uh, we're here to serve you. Uh, as always, I'll put a link somewhere if you're interested in having a one-on-one -on -one RN body transformation planning session with us so that we can help you be able to create massive certainty, massive clarity for your goals so that whether you work with us or don't can leave the call with not the motivation. So I will see you guys later in the week. Get ready for some more videos. I'm going to do a lot more of these videos that are kind of just off the cuff talking from the heart because uh, I feel like. Uh, 
gotten some good feedback on it. So I will see you guys. Enjoy your day. TGIM. Thank God it's Monday and the best is yet to come. See ya.